Lakeside, Ohio, a small community nestled into the southern shore of Lake Erie. And every year, it's invaded by insects. They're called mayflies, and they have a long history of showing up in Lakeside. Meet Carolyn Beers. She's the archivist at the local historical society. Yeah, the really old one was written in um, July of 1881. And there's a little bit of history about the strange night insects that we have. They did disappear for a little while in the late 50s and the 60s because the lake was not very healthy. Lake Erie almost died in the middle of the last century, poisoned by industrial pollutants. But the lake recovered in the 1980s and 90s, and the mayflies came back with it. But something interesting is happening to the mayflies. Over the past couple of years, small hatches have been showing up later and later into the fall. Christine Mayer is an ecologist at the University of Toledo who's done research on mayflies. It could actually be from warming temperatures speeding up hatching. Those might be animals that in cooler years would not have hatched until the next summer. The phenomenon of late mayfly hatches is too recent to make a strong correlation to climate change. More data needs to be gathered to make that case. For Carolyn, mayflies are a part of life by the lake whenever they show up. Well, they swarm in, they're an annoyance, then it's over and we can smile about it and enjoy the, the fact that uh, the lake is much healthier than it was. They're a sensitive species, so they don't tolerate bad water quality. So seeing a lot of mayflies is an indication of healthy conditions at the bottom of the lake where the larvae spend most of their time. The winged creature that invades is the end of the mayfly life cycle. These adults only live on shore for a couple days, but they exist in the lake as larvae for much longer. They spend up to two years underwater in the sediment at the bottom of the lake where they're feeding and growing and developing. And when the larvae are done developing, they invade at night. They're attracted to the lights on shore. The next morning, everything is covered with bugs. This has been going on at Lakeside for a very long time. Yeah, the really old one was written in um, July of 1881. And there's a little bit of history about the strange night insects that we have. They did disappear for a little while in the late 50s and the 60s because the lake was not very healthy.